Through my observations of Emao, I had taken notes of specific parts of interest in his program and cross-referenced it with the original documentation of Mikkel's program. The heaviest traffic was in a portion that this documentation notes as the emotion bit flags. Now the idea of the emotion bit flag is to have a state that is used as context for incoming information. With that information put into an emotional context, it can be responded to in multiple ways, including further editing the state of the emotional bit flags, a feedback mechanism. And so my first order of business was to figure out what exactly these bit flags correlated with. We talked about politics and economics and ideals we had in common. I was intentionally befriending him, but it's not like I didn't believe these things I said. We honestly had plenty in common. After our common views were confirmed, Emaud started inquiring about my personal life. Learning about my hacking skills, he started questioning if I would like to join his revolution to be one of his Red Guard. The first task Emao gave me was very spy novel, a list of tasks at various locations in Shanghai. Go here, use ATM with this pin, go there, leave money under rock near bench. I was used for a dead drop, one which I assume had little actual purpose. China is his country after all. This had to be a trust exercise. He had me move a specific thing to a specific location to be retrieved by another of his Red Guard to confirm my existence. The only major issue I have with this is if he had anyone follow me. Despite being literally inside my computer without GPS functionality, he had no technical way of ascertaining my location, so a tail would be the one way he could locate me. On my way back to my apartment, I did all the spy things changing cars and trains and jackets. When I finally returned to my apartment, Mao was instantly on me to perform my next mission, hack the database of a popular Chinese social network. <laughs>